Markets are stalled around the world, but the stall is actually pretty good, at least here in Europe. We're seeing better manufacturing data than first anticipated, first out of China and again out of Europe today, which is adding a bullish dimension to stocks. But really, investors are waiting for that critical payroll data a little bit later today out of the United States. U.S. employers probably adding around 160,000 new jobs. We'll be interested to see what happens to the unemployment rate. But really, the sort of pace of job growth in the United States is going to dictate a lot of investor optimism in the coming weeks. Coming back to Europe, we are seeing again modest gains across the board for most of the major European indices. The major exception is Spain. The short selling ban, which had been in place for several months, was lifted as of this morning. And shares across the IBEX 35, the benchmark index there, are down a little bit more than 1.5%. Manufacturing data in Europe was revised for the month of December, a little bit better, still contracting, but not nearly as significantly as it had in the past. UK manufacturing data was pretty good. It it shows a modest advancement, but once again, the fact that we don't seem to be slowing at the same pace that we were back in the autumn seems to be a bullish, again, tone for equity investors. Also in Europe today, we saw that the unemployment rate stabilized at 11.7% in the month of January. It's a record high, of course, but it isn't getting any worse, at least not at this stage. And there's encouraging signs out of Germany that they're adding jobs at a faster pace than first anticipated. Inflation, at least the first estimate of inflation for January, also slowed almost to 2%. That's right at the ECB's preferred target. And it's one of the slowest paces of price rises in about two years. Again, another bullish sign because it might mean that the European Central Bank will be a little bit more encouraged to add stimulus into the economy if they don't believe it's going to stoke inflation. We're going to look at all that and, of course, the market developments after the payroll data. So come back to the IB Times UK economy page to check it out. And we'll see you on Monday.